we're doing two huts for um, Doc up uh, Paper Oil Rangers. We finished the bottom one and this is the last one to go. I just came to check to go around the window in the staff quarters. One more trip after this and we hopefully should have it all done. Popping tent water tanks up. Yeah, I've got probably one more trip up here to get the fire in and bits and pieces and then we'll be away laughing. So this will be the main entrance um, through the lobby. And uh, this is the you know, main common room where everyone will be sort of congregating. And that's the, all the sink bench, which will have gas cookers on them. I think it's about 110 squares. It's got two bunk rooms in it. It's fully insulated, double glazing, USB ports, lights, cell phone coverage at this one. It's a very warm and cosy place. Down a couple of steps and out onto the main deck that overlooks um, the Paparo Rangers. Yeah, you can't beat the views. Like the escarpment there, and on a clear day, you can see almost 360 degrees around you. I absolutely love it. I'm a third year apprentice, and uh, so to get this sort of opportunity so early in my career is, is remarkable. Thoroughly enjoyed the job working with the guys, with Doc, and everyone else who's been involved. Waking up to that every morning, can't complain about that. Just painting, <laughs> just doing what I do. Carly Carpenter's paint, but no good at it. You can't just put down the counters and get some more nails, so it's, you know, the, the organisation that's required for such a project has been unbelievable. It's just so unpredictable up here, and it's three or four foot of snow the other day, and when we get winds, they're really, really strong, and they bring a wind chill factor of zero to minus five. Uh, the insulation is all thicker and a uh, high rating for the elevation that we're at. Because of where it is, the bracing, everything else is different, so it's a lot more bracing elements means a lot more nailing, a lot more brackets, a lot more bolts, a lot more everything. I've been up here in Cyclone Order and the hut withstood those conditions. Oh, she should be here for 150 years plus, I'd say. Yeah, she's not going anywhere. Take your boots off, the fire cranking, you'll be cosy for the night, for sure. Really excited with the way it's turned out and some of the comments from the family members who have flown in um, to have a look at it. Um, it just blows the boys away and it just makes you want to come back.